We then visited Nazareth, where Jesus grew up. The name in Hebrew is derived from Nazar, one of the Hebrew words for branch, which appears to allude to the prophetic messianic words in Isaiah, from the root of Jesse a branch will come forth. We wanted to visit the model Nazareth village, which depicts life in the first century when Jesus lived here. It's a fascinating place to visit, and much care has gone into making it as authentic as possible. With actors playing the parts in traditional dress, the sheep and goats, the watchtower, the sheepfold, and fascinating aspects of life at that time. We then learned interesting facts about the olive press. I would take by hand the olive mash and fill the sides of the basket with the olive mash. The olive mash is obtained here. The olives are added and crushed, ready to be put in the olive press. The press being an elaborate contraption with weights added to press the olives and get the olive oil. Then we start adding weight and hence pressure to the stack of baskets. Uh, we'll add the weight of the cantilever beam and possibly some stone weight and we'll get more oil come out. Uh, that oil was used for food and for medicine, for perfume and for cosmetics. And then uh, we try and get the rest of the oil out in the third extraction. We'll add all the stone weights. Uh, we have three weights, they're about 500 kilograms each. Uh, and that adds tremendous pressure here uh, to our stack of baskets. We're going to get more oil. This oil is a bit dirtier, lower in quality, but that's okay. It was used to light lamps and to produce soap. The Hebrew for olive press is intriguing. In Hebrew, an olive press, the word for it is gat shmanim. Two words, actually. Gat shmanim. A press of oils, literally. Um, and so... Uh, that's the word for this in Hebrew. That is where we get the word Gethsemane, Gat Shmanim in Hebrew. And in the New Testament, of course, uh, it tells us that Jesus and his disciples, after having their final meal together, their last Passover meal, go to Gethsemane, uh, and Jesus begins to be troubled in his spirit. Uh, and you might say he's under pressure, emotional, mental, spiritual pressure, because he knows that he is going to be betrayed, suffer, and die the next day. And he begins to pray to the Father, to God. And uh, it tells us he's under so much pressure as he prays, in his sweat come out drops of blood. And Jesus, under pressure in the Garden of Gethsemane, the olive press, uh, goes and prays three times to the Father, just like the olives are crushed under tremendous pressure three times to obtain their precious olive oil. Next, we walked over to Joseph's workshop, Joseph being the husband of Mary. <laughs> various chisels all right and he uses a smooth um, volcanic stone to sharpen his tools and he uses a rough stone like sandpaper a drill Then the uh, wine press. Probably wash their feet and then tread on the graves. Okay. Yeah. And after about four weeks, uh, the juice ferments and it becomes new wine. After that, Hannah's workshop. 
She's making rope from hemp and also spinning, dyeing and weaving wool. There's even a synagogue here. Finally, a Roman soldier, a Roman cross, and a Jewish tomb, making the New Testament come to life. By the time we'd explored it, it was already getting dark, and we have to drive back to Tiberias. We've had another great day in the Holy Land, the Nazareth village being an excellent place to visit. If you enjoyed the film and would like to see more, there are hundreds of travel films on this channel. Subscribe and click the notifications bell if you'd like to receive an email every time a film is posted. Share the channel with anyone you feel would enjoy it and stay safe.